Hey everybody, it is Cynical Buddha. I am back. It's been a while. I just got um, my check out my cards or COMC or COMC order. Um, it's been a year. I've had my portfolio building up for a year. Almost a year to the day since my last delivery or since I last request for delivery. Um, COMC estimated it would ship uh december 27th it shipped september 29th and it showed up yesterday i had to go pick it up today anyways it's here and uh, i, I want to show off i was like showing off uh the hauls but i also uh, the one thing i love about um comc is they package like tanks so if you're ever worried about getting stuff shipped to you especially like your bulk orders i want to show you um and you can check out some of my past videos too for my orders but they do a great job. Like, I've never had a complaint. So, I'm hoping I don't jinx myself. But, so, big brown box. Ship priority with shipping. Um, looks like from their um, job postings, they're um, looking for uh, upgrading their sorting. and But, like with robots, like they're looking for robotic tech for boxes so um on top of i ended up i think i mean obviously you pay like 25 cents a card or whatever uh to have the ship to you but and there's also padding on the bottom there um you got these are 400 count boxes so four brand new 400 count boxes for my order which will be nice so boxes within boxes um and then, you know, they've gotten all their, um, they had a lot of, they, you know, after the last, like COVID, they did a lot of automation. So, um, so every card has a little slip of paper in it. And I'm trying to think which one we should, this is the lightest one. This should have the less. So let's start, let's start off with the lowest box. Has, what do we got in here? So inside the box, bubble wrapped, I think. I wonder what these are. I did I did pick up a bunch of slabs this year. I uh, really cheap slabs for my team. It's one of the players I like. But um, oh wow! So a lot of these came nice. So I didn't pay for top loaders. So you also it looks like they put some top loaders in with this too for some stuff for packaging. Um, but I ended up picking up, oh, so first card is this Project 2020 Frank Thomas card. Um, I can't remember what I paid for it, but uh, incredibly less than what these were going for new. <laughs> um, so maybe a couple dollars, like there's so many. Um, so nice addition to my Frank Thomas collection. Um, ooh. And you're gonna see lots and lots of Robin Yount cards. Just tons, because <laughs> that's my primary PC, so. Um, I don't know why these are, but I don't know why they're putting top loaders, but it's nice. So I think this is a, well, they used to see what they were. Here they are. So this is a 2022, uh, amethyst, uh, triple threads. And then we've got a green, um, uh, tops gallery hall of fame insert number 250 there in that pack i wonder if these are just the stuff they couldn't fit in the other boxes which is all right by me um nice i have a 2022 transcendent uh base card with kristen yelich um i didn't go back and check how much i paid for all these but i'm cheap so i didn't pay very much um oh, sorry got a frame there um and i i mean i picked over the year, I've been picking stuff up as it pops up, and then, uh, I, you know, the Black Friday sale is the big sale, and there were still some deals to be had. Not as good as, you know, the years past, but what can you do? And then, ooh, this is nice. This is number 50, right? Oh, it's just the orange. Orange Prism Refractor, um, 2021. Um, yeah. So we'll speed it up here. These, these, are, these are heavy and full. Um, this one probably is my slab, so let's go... Let's see what. Oh yeah, I am. Um, I'm gonna preface this by saying I picked up a lot of these preseason, 
early on, but I paid uh, I don't know five or six dollars a piece for these slabs um, at most. Like they were all kind of like you know really good deals. So um, I am a huge fan of Keston Hira. I really hope he makes it back to the major leagues. Um, obviously, he didn't make the team last year. He was down in the minors, but uh, I'm hoping maybe another team picks him up. Anyways, I picked up his a bunch of his rookies and um, other cards. Gem Mint 10. Um, like I said, I think this one doesn't show the what you price you paid, but I probably paid, I don't know, 5 or $6 for that. I mean, grading alone is $20 right on a card, so um, on the, unless you do bulk and stuff. but So that's pretty nice. And, you know, it comes bagged, too. That's pretty sweet. Next one up, I got uh, Keston's first Bowman Chrome Refractor Gem Mint 10. Again, another super cheap card. I got his 2019. Um, this is one of the uh, uh, variations, SP Voto variations. Uh, Gem Mint 9. So um, I can't, you know, pick that up cheap. Uh, 2017 Bowman Chrome first rookie card, Gem Mint 10. Oh, I also picked up this beautiful uh, Ben Sheets uh, 8 number duo. Uh, what is this number 2? 78 Aspirations. Ben Sheets one of my all-time favorite pitchers for the Brewers. Uh, you know, kind of sad. As, I mean, he, had, he was played with injuries at the end of his career, but when he was when he was healthy and hot, man, he was great to watch. And uh, I love picking up his stuff cheap. We have another uh, Keston Hira. Here is his uh, 2019 Heritage, Gem Mint 10. Pretty sweet. Um, and then I also picked up his uh, Action Variation Rookie card. Also uh, Gem Mint 10, super cheap. Um, rookie of the Year in uh, 2020, 2020 Rookie of the Year, uh, Devin Williams Rookie card from Update, uh, Gem Mint 10. And my favorite, <laughs> I picked up Keston Hera's Real One Rookie Card, Gem Mint 9, and I think I paid, I want to say, I, I mean, I'm cheap, but I think I paid about 17 bucks for that slab. So, um, you know, when he was hot during his rookie year, those things were going for 50, 60, 70 bucks. And I don't even know what a graded copy would have gone for, even if it's just a Mint 10 or Mint 9, you know, so... Anyways, not a bad addition. I mean, I'm pretty happy. Like I like I said, I probably average these are probably it all averages out other than the autograph to like five bucks a piece. It's uh, it's insane just how uh you know a lot of this stuff just got mass graded during the pandemic and uh there are tons of them. There are actually tons of Gem and 10 stuff uh sitting on COMC for sale. So as you can see we've got lots of other stuff to look at. Um Super excited. Oh, look at all those those fat cards in there. Yes. Um, I'll go through some of the stuff kind of quick because I don't want to bore you and you're probably tired of listening to me talk. Um, but you can see how well packaged they are. They, and the care that's taken, too. Like, check out my cards. It does a great job. Like, it's... Uh, it, once they... Uh, once they get their, um, like, their intake and their shipping kind of more dialed in. I know they were moving over the last year and uh, they had some growing pains, but I really wish they would actually lower the um, the insert price again. Uh, it would be nicer because it really it really lends itself to allowing like a, a much better variety. Because obviously, if it's going to cost you, I think what it is now like thirty five cents a card to get a process at the slow rate, and then it takes like four months to do that. Um, you know, you got to you're really going to be really picky, right? Uh, and then, if, of course, if you upgrade to the expedited uh, listing stuff, it's or the listing service, and be even more picky. So like, you're not going to find the lower end stuff for cheap anymore, and that's that's a, that's a shame because there used to be some great treasure hunting you could do on a uh, COMC. But um, this beautiful Michael Reed uh, rookie autograph, number to ten. Um, again, I don't know what I paid for these, but trust me, they are cheap. Uh, Jordy Nelson. One of my favorite Packers of all time there. Uh, Robin Yount from Farm to Fame. Uh, this one I've been looking for out of 
what is that out of? 2020 Bowman. So something for the Yount collection. Um, surprised I didn't have this card. This is when it was a game. This is from what, like 2006 SP Legendary Cuts. Um, but I looked through my inventories and didn't have it and picked, was able to pick one up cheap. And these are all numbered to 550. Uh, picked up a vintage Packer for my team set in Gail Gillum, Gillingham. Um, Tristan Lutz autograph. Got a really nice, uh, Gary Sheffield is kind of one of my like low key PCs. And, uh, but when I find his stuff cheap, I'll pick it up. Like no matter what, what uniform he's in, he's just kind of, that's him and Raleigh fingers are my two, um, <laughs> that I do the two. Another Ben Sheets spectrum. This one's number to 25. Um, picking up, I love history and, uh, just oddball sets. You'll see that in this, um, was started, I went through and I picked up a bunch of the two, I think I might've picked up or finished the set of the 2008, uh, campaign set from like from 2008 um uh, yeah so i picked up a few that i didn't have uh here's a nice bill hall autograph from bowman's best another yount uh this is 2023 this is the orange parallel ben sheets triple threads emerald uh 2008 hillary clinton uh, another ben sheets relic uh picked up a few nice oddball uh, blackhawks i don't do a lot of hockey or basketball but um, I'll check it out. Like Upper Deck's great because they do their e packs, and then you can get real cards that are already uploaded to COMC. So it's really a race to the bottom for a lot of it. So this stuff, um, you're paying. I mean, you're paying like twenty six cents, which is actually like one or two cents, right? Depending on. I mean, because all, all the prices have a quarter added to it. Um, another another download PC is I I collect Vladdy Daddy so. Oh, this is one of the little Pepsi minis from 2003. That collection. These these, are, these uh, die cut cheddar cards are really cool too from metal. Um, a few more die cuts. Got a Robin Yount mini. Here, this is just the base mini from 2022, then 2021, and then I think it's the A and G back. 2023 uh, regular back. Um, one of the flare or the top stickers I didn't have. Here's a 2021 black framed, uh, 2022 black border. Um, cool Eddie Lacy pennant from 2015. Um, one of the Slurpee coins I was missing. This one's from two, uh, 1986. Um, 2022 Alan Ginter X mini card. And the 2022 uh, mini, it's not a refractor. I mean, it's a refractor, but uh, it's not, hold up. What else? Uh, Josh Hader parallel or uh, photo variation. Some more Keston Hurst stuff. I got the snake skin here, super cheap. Oh, sorry, this is Green Dragon, number to 84. Um, Robin's die cut, uh, 2022 tops chrome. These are listed as die cut in the in the uh, sell sheets and <laughs> in the checklist, uh, but they didn't die cut it. So, um, Lewis Brinson rookie autograph, um, Robin Yount uh, 2022 the Chops Triple Thread. I think it's just the base card. Then um, 2022 Stadium Club Red Foil, um, one of the logo. Uh, the 2021 70th anniversary logo pad. These are super cheap. These are like under a dollar now. Like there's so many of them um, on the website. Um, a Jake Cousins Chrome autograph. A Mosaic uh, Hall of Fame from this is from 2022 Mosaic. Uh, the Marvels from 2023 Donruss. Um, a Michael Sanchez Chrome autograph. Um, a Richie Sexton uh, relic. Another Ben Sheets. Max Lazar Auto, another Ben Sheets Rookie Crusade. This was number to 300. And a beautiful Pacific Prism 2000. Uh, what is this? The Gold Prism? Yeah, the Holographic Gold, number to 480. Keep it going. Uh, let's see. New Robin Yount. Um, 
uh, from the po like the uh, Donner's there's 2008 or 2005 Donner's uh, Polo Grounds. These are always great to find. There's so many of them, and they're all low numbered. So when you find one for a decent price, I pick it up. The great Ben Sheets uh, Tools of the Trade from 20 2002. A Keston Hira a Panini Extra Edition. Robin Yount Allen and Ginter Relic. 23 Diamond Kings uh, Red, number 2023. 2022, although it came out in 2023. Uh, Platinum Edition, this is the Yellow Railway, right? Yeah. Uh, another Yount. Um, triple Threads, um, this beautiful Travis Shaw five star autograph. <laughs> I think I paid $2 for that. Uh, some more diamond or another diamond kings yeah you know, i think that's the base oh so that's the hollow or that's the stat line right yeah career stat line kissing her now playing pink fireworks um i picked up i had a few cards left a few cards left for my tooth or my 82 set so, yeah so um this is one of them the dave stewart um robin Ann's gallery card uh, Aaron Rodgers winning ticket. Purple? No, just regular. Uh, beautiful Keston Hurup, uh, pristine. What year was this? Last year's uh, Auto Relic. Great card. Another now playing. This is the blue. The blue. Uh, Robin Neal, um, Twenty. This is Series 2 All-Star Relic. Um, the Cactus League, 150th Anniversary. Uh, parallel number to 150. That must be on the back of the card. Uh, another 82 Nolan Ryan, Steve McCaddy, uh, leaders card. Um, City Connect. I ended up picking these up for like I don't know, 90 cents each. I got a, I've got a few of them uh, from uh, all the Milwaukee teams. Uh, and that's another yellow card. Another one of the 2008 uh, campaign cards. And then I also had needed a couple 81s. So um, Carly Stremski. And an Ozzy Smith 82. Uh, I got this Vlad, Vlad uh, Cognac Diamond from uh, 2011. Ooh, so many cards. There's over, I think I, I think this load had 338 or so. Um, so maybe I won't stop and talk. I'll just show them off here as I sort them out. We'll spotlight some of the cooler ones. There's a Lyle Overbay. Um, this, what is that called? Spotlight Silver for, to 50. Just you know, like I love, I love the old like uh, mid two thousands. Uh, there was just so many products and so many cool inserts. And my team, the Brewers, didn't have a lot of superstars. So you had like Lyle Overbay and Richie Sexton and um, those guys. Uh, they were the ones, you know. And you can you can find this stuff super cheap now because you know there's not a lot of those Brewers collectors that collect it. There's a black version of that one. Um, Speaking of Richie Sexton, there is his diamond cut relic. Very nice. I don't know if that one's numbered. That one's numbered to 500. Little Russell Smith. Kissed in her. I do believe that is the image variation. Bryce Terang, um, Bowman Lime, number 399. Another beautiful Ben Sheets, number 50. And there is a uh, Montreal Actual Future Stars. I do have a really cool 82 in there. I wonder if you can guess who it is. <laughs> That I needed this Christian Yellow, which is uh, this. I think this is out of Chronicles, right? Yeah, and this is super thick. Some more Younts. Oh, and then the um, the variation for Keston Herzer. If you're still with me, thank you. We'll be. Uh, I'll speed it up here. There's a cool Gary Sheffield number to five ninety nine. Major factor. Major factors. Um, Prime Patches, that's a cool one. Uh, an Andre, nice Andre the Giant card. Brett Favre. Tyrone Taylor, uh, Auto Relic. Really cool Ty Montgomery. Um, Clear Visions, I mean, just, that's a cool rookie card. Uh, there's a Robin Yount. Uh, this is from Chronicles 2, I do believe, right? Nope, Spectra is its own. <laughs> Sometimes you can't tell. Spectre Relic. Another Ben Sheets. Six on. This is the gold spotlight. And that silver spotlight. This one's number to 25. Um, 
rainbow foil gallery. Um, there's a Ricky, Richie Six and um, Jumbo Patch. Another Yount Triple Threads, Kisten Herb Blue. Um, Chris Statline from 2003 Donruss. Another Ben Sheets Relic, some more stickers. Some more of these Prime Patches Relics, those are cool. Another Kesten Hura uh, uh, autograph. Lots of younts. Lots of younts for my yount collection. I'll be uh, going through these slowly and enjoying them and adding scans to my uh, uh, the yount collector. Maybe doing some more updates. It's been a while since I actually did cards. I've been just doing checklists lately, but another great uh, Gary Sheffield card there. This one, you can see right through it. It's kind of neat. We got here, we got Jonathan Franklin, Otto, Corbin Burns, Snakeskin, or Red Dragon, number 110, nice. Robin Yount, and there's my 82 that I picked up. Um, I wanted to see, because I, I did pay up for this. I think I paid about 15 bucks or so, maybe not that much, but uh, not too bad. The corner, I mean, obviously it's got, it's got issues. It's definitely a mid-grade, but no creases, and the corners are fairly sharp. They're not super rounded. Um, Nice-looking card. Great, great. Um, I mean, this is the big card for my 82 set, so getting the Cal Ripken Jr. <laughs> rookie card finishes it off. It's awesome. And some more, yeah, some more Keston Hero autographs. Was that bronze spotlight for pen sheets? Another Marvels parallel. Some vintage Packers for my Packers team sets. Here's the Red Mirror. That was a hundred. Another eighty-two, and then there's another one of those City Connects. It's Willie Adamas. Let's hope Cal they got this pack pretty good. Some more Yount goodness, lots of parallels. Um, picked up some Farves. Sorry, now that the video is getting, I should have broken this up, but I don't want to. <laughs> so, another 81. I was able to piece together, I like, find the final cards from my 81 and 82 sets. So those are now complete, which is fantastic. Great. Another Jordy. There's a Raleigh I picked up. I haven't picked up many Raleigh fingers in a while. Uh, here's Chris Capuano, uh, number 90, red, red, uh, red Refactor. There's a Fernando, Future Stars from 81. A little bigger cards I needed. Another, Kest another beautiful Keston Hero card there. Triple Threads, Relic Auto. I like these old... Uh, uh, studio portraits. There's so many, like, this is just like the polo grounds. There's just so many variations and different. I mean, the big the thing with these is it's all really kind of a lot of it's what's on the front, but also, um, uh, the back advertisement, too. If you didn't, if you guys didn't know, but just lots of younts. Can't wait to see what all these thick cards are. Like, what are oh, interesting. Sorry, make sure these are all nice Ray Nitschke, uh 70. Another Vladdy Diamond. This is a very cool Vlad. Uh, per Pacific Paramount, what year is that? 98 uh, die cut. Some more City Connects. I still got two of those. Huh? Hmm. They were cheap. Nice uh, Gary with a brewer, like in a brewer's uniform relic. Colton Long uh, auto from uh, Archive Snapshots. Got a nice Robin Yount 78 uh, Hostess. This one's got a little bit left on the edge. I could sharpen that up if need be. Um, Jonathan Franklin. Uh, you know, Jonathan only played like a year for the Packers, but. Um, and so these are super cheap, but that was a. Like an elite status. What is it called? Status Gold Die Cut number 49. So. Um, 
And so here's here we're getting to the oddball stuff. Uh, Upper Deck has got a ton of EPAC weirdness, um, but they had uh, like Wild West and um, uh, like planetary stuff, celestial stuff. So this is um, which this is like Upper Deck Cosmic, and I picked up a bunch of these, and these are all super cheap because of the EPAC. So I think I was paying. I don't know, less than 30 cents a card. And these are super thick. I didn't realize these cards were that thick. Look at that. That's a, <laughs> but just a great oddball set to put together. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just interesting. George 81, George Brett. Um, hot box Yount there. Let's see what else we got. Getting to the end there. Devin Williams, Tops Now card for cheap. Ooh, nice Ben Sheets, Refractor, number to Nolan Ryan, 82. The Packers, Vintage. Jackson Reitz Auto. I got, the, I got these autos for like, I don't know, a buck and a half or something each. So, so super cheap. It's more Kiston Hura. Lots of Robin Yount's, another great um, uh, Richie Sexton uh, relic. I mean, uh, look at that cool. Like, I mean, you know, they're just, I would just a bat and a, and a piece of swatch, or swatch a, of jersey, but still cool designs. I like those designs. Another Yount triple threads. Um, oh, here's the uh, Upper Deck Wild West, Gaudi Wild West. These cards are regular size, but. I just picked up the base set of the, yeah, the base set. I think I probably picked up everything and I won't go through all of them, but yeah. I got, and then there's the wanted insert. So, very neat, very, I love I love history. I love Wild West history too, political history. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of modern political drama, but um, I do love historical stuff though, so. Or Blackhawks that were cheap. Um, Chris Neal, it's home run challenge winner. Um, I haven't, I've never tried actually to do the challenge, so it's kind of nice to pick these up for a pretty decent price. Um, another Kiston Hira, Spectra Relic, Pete Rose 81. Um, what have we got there? Jeff Deerdorf, yeah, cheap auto there. So, wish I, you know, if I'd opened this up, I could have saved the most exciting stuff for last. There's a, there's a nice team tandems with the Elitch and Hero. Um, my Huckabee for the 88 or 2008 um, the campaign set. And a Jeff, Jeff Jenkins auto. Really nice in the Donner signatures. Um, not numbered. Bryce Train Gold. X Fractor, a Lewis Brinson Auto, Bowman's Best, and ending it, the last card of this huge mega haul, and thank you for staying with me. I know you probably fast-forwarded and, and or switched off, but anyways, uh, Ken Bauman, uh, this is from the what, 70s tops. Whew, it was quite a haul. I'm going to go back through and savor this a little bit more and slowly work my way through it, but uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with uh, what I had put together over the last year. Um, and I'm always happy with the way uh, check out my card ships. It's they ship like a tank, like I said. You can see just the the care that goes into uh, their shipment. So um, for all their other problems and problem spots, that is not one of them and hasn't been. So, um, anyways, thanks for watching, everybody, and we will talk to you later. Bye.